This is one of the driest places on earth. Burke, in the middle of the Australian desert. Temperatures here reach 50 degrees and years can pass without rain. The nearest beach is over two days' drive away. The only water to be seen is a mirage caused by the heat. But amongst the heat and dust lurk some rather unexpected locals. Crabs in the desert. These special agents have infiltrated this barren land. So how do they survive without water and in temperatures that could cook a crab alive? To escape from the baking heat, the crabs dig burrows deep into the clay soil. During the drought, the crabs seldom leave their burrows. They can survive years without food and the loss of almost half their body water. But even they need a way to replenish water supplies. And for the best drinking opportunities, they have to wait until the evening. Only at night does the air get cool enough for Australians to relax over a refreshing drink. The crab also leaves its burrow to sit under the stars and wait. The night air temperature drops to as little as six degrees Celsius, as cool as a domestic fridge. And when a bottle of beer is brought from the cold into the warm air of a room, condensation forms. The crab has to be patient, though. Only when it's cooled right down can it return to its burrow. As it comes in contact with the warm air down below, condensation forms on its shell, providing all the water it needs. But simply staying alive is not enough. All animals need to breed. And to do so, this crab has borrowed a trick from her kangaroo neighbors. Every few years, the dry landscape undergoes a radical change. And it's this moment the crabs have been waiting for. Many centimeters of rain can fall in one day, bringing flash flooding. Months ago, the female desert crab laid her eggs into a pouch. But now, there's been a transformation. Protected in her pouch, her eggs have hatched and grown into baby crabs. And this is the secret of her success. Instead of trekking back to the sea, the female just needs to release the babies into pockets of flood water where they can fend for themselves. And the well-advanced babies have got a better chance of surviving even when exposed to this tough new world. Remarkably, these tiny crabs will spend their entire lives without ever seeing the sea.